Welcome back everybody. For today, I'm going to show you two different activities that will help you practice reading the pitches on the treble clef staff. But first, let me remind you how to get into your Quaver account. So first you want to go to apps.rusd.org, log in with your S number and password, find the Quaver button, and click on it. And then you should see this screen. We're going to be in Student Interactives today, so go ahead and click on that. And we're going to talk about some music theory. So click on music theory, scroll down until you find the one that says staff champion treble. It's right above the crescendinator. So click on that. Now let's do a quick review. So pitches, the exact definition of pitches is the quality of a sound governed by the rate of vibrations producing it or basically just how high or low a tone is. In music, we give those pitches letter names. And to keep things simple, the musical alphabet is really simple with just seven letters. So it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then keeps repeating A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now we put those pitches on a staff. And a staff is a set of five lines, one, two, three, four, five, and four spaces, one, two, three, four. And each of those lines or spaces represents a different musical pitch. So if it's down here, it would be lower. And if it's up here, it would be higher. Now there are pitches that go above the staff and far below the staff, but to keep things simple today, we're just gonna stay within these five lines and four spaces. Another important symbol to remember is the treble clef. And remember that I've taught you the treble clef is a symbol that shows that the pitches will be sung or played by voices or instruments that can achieve higher notes. If we were doing bass clef, which looks like this, those would be for voices or instruments that would achieve lower notes, like the trombone that I like to play sometimes. But let's stick with the treble clef. Now remember, I've taught you a mnemonic device or a memory trick that helps you remember these different pitches on the staff. So for the lines, the trick is every good boy does fine. I'm going to say that one more time. So the lines are every good boy does fine on the lines. And it's important to remember that we always count from the bottom going up. So let's figure out what this pitch would be. And we're going to stop right where we see the head of the pitch. So every good boy does. Does starts with D, so that pitch would be D. Let's do another one. And this is just practice mode, by the way. When you're ready to test yourself, you'll click on game mode. Ooh, look, we have one in a space. So let's talk about the mnemonic device or memory trick for the spaces. The spaces is easy because it rhymes with space and it's face. So it's F, A, C, E. So this would be F. A, C. So I'm going to go ahead and click on C. Awesome. Got it. Let's do a couple more together. So space, face. That's how I remember it. F, A, and I can stop there. Oh, look, a line. So remember, lines are every good boy does fine. So this would be every, and we can just stop right there. Now, when you're ready to test yourself, you can go ahead and click game mode and there'll be a timer to see how many you can get in 30 seconds. If you're having trouble remembering the mnemonic device, check out the link below with the goofy little video from Quaver that'll help you really get that stuck in your head. What I wanna show you that some of you have done in music class is called Staff Wars. Now, if you're on a phone, you can search in your app store, either Android or Apple for the game Staff Wars but I'm on a computer, so on Google I search Staff Wars, and you're gonna to wanna to click on this one right here, the Music Interactive. And there's a lot on this website, a lot of great uh, musical apps. I'm gonna click on Classroom Apps, go to Staff Wars. You can notice it's free for the desktop version. And then I downloaded it for my Mac computer or for a Windows computer right here. Once you get the game up and running, it should look like this. There's one setting that you're gonna to wanna to make sure you change before you start playing, and that's setting the range. So you can see right now our range, like I mentioned before, how notes can go way above the staff and way below using ledger lines. We don't wanna use those because they can be kind of tricky. 
So you're going to want to click this range until you see those two notes on the top long line and the bottom long line. So it should be on the E line and on the every good boy does fine F line. So it should look just like that. And then remember, we're talking about treble clef today. So you're going to want to click this one. We have treble clef. This is treble clef and bass clef together, the grand staff. We have alto clef and then bass clef on its own. So you click treble clef. And one trick I like to show my students is you can change which letter comes first in your answer buttons here. I like to have A first. It's a little easier to find my notes. Now the game is really simple. You're going to click start and this note's going to come flying across and you want to shoot that note down by answering correctly before it gets to this shield. So this is a space. So it's F A spaces faces. Ooh, another space. So it's F A C E, but I can stop on F a line. Every good boy does fine. Now, as you go, you'll get faster like this. And the game will get faster as you start to level up. So I just leveled up and it's gonna get a lot faster. Now it's okay if you make a mistake because luckily you have three lives down here. But unfortunately, if you lose all three lives, your game is over. But the good news is, is you could start it back up and keep practicing and having fun. I hope you enjoy.